By now you know how time-consuming VCE can be. The old saying of grades, sleep, social life, choose two is not entirely inaccurate. I'm here to tell you that it's definitely possible to have a social life during VCE. You just need to adjust your idea of what a social life is. I think you'll find a CAS calculator is probably the best friend you've ever known when you're sitting the methods exam. But in all seriousness, it's healthy to maintain human contact. No one can study every hour of every day. At the very least, make sure that you're relaxing a little during recess and lunchtime. While it's a great idea to devote a certain amount of time each night to studying, it's totally understandable to take a night or two off when you need it. The lords of the ATAR won't scratch your name off the potential 99.95 list for taking one weekend off to attend Comic-Con, if that's what you're into. These are some of the most important things to take into consideration while structuring a social life around VCE. Firstly, everything in moderation. It's okay to let your hair down every now and then and have some fun, but just remember that the old, I'll do it tomorrow, only works if you really will do it tomorrow. You can't afford to spend every night hanging out with friends, but you probably also can't afford to spend every waking moment studying. Make sure you strike a good balance and keep everything in moderation. Number two, peak at the right time. If you're gonna go bowling with some friends, maybe schedule that one for the lazy day where you know you don't have any sacks coming up. Use social activities as a reward for sticking to your study plan. You don't wanna to go to the movies on the day before your economic sack and spend the following night learning the content that you've just been tested on. And no, watching Moneyball doesn't count as economic study. Number three, find the right friends. So this is gonna be polarizing, but making sure that you're surrounded by the right people is one of the easiest ways to keep yourself motivated and make sure that you're not dodging your academic responsibilities for other tempting activities. You probably remember the saying that you're the average of your five closest friends. Remember, all the people around you are doing VCE too. Make sure that your friendship group supports each other and at the very least understands that sometimes the excuse, I have to study tonight, isn't the same as I'm washing my hair tonight and it's actually legitimate. Number four, socializing and studying don't have to be separate activities. Form study groups, get a change of scenery by studying at a mate's place, sit a practice exam together, argue an essay topic from both sides, Studying can become a part of your social life if that's how you choose to study. Even if you think that you know a bit more than your friends, explaining and teaching things to people can actually be one of the best ways for you to internalize a concept. Finally, some things to be careful with. Whoever was in charge of life scheduling really screwed up when they put complete potentially the most important academic year of your life on the same date as turn 18 and can now drink, go to clubs and drive a car. Suddenly your social life has a bunch more options that weren't around before and it's easy to get sucked in and forget to look at the bigger picture. Don't forget to make studying a priority. You owe it to yourself to do the best you can and to make sure that these vices aren't getting in the way of your dreams. But also, don't forget to attend those 18s. They only happen once. So remember, you can definitely have a social life during VCE. In fact, it's pretty important to maintain some sort of social contact, if for nothing else but your own sanity. Just make sure that your social life isn't taking over your academic life and you're sticking to some sort of schedule and that you're trying to make socializing productive wherever possible. Happy partying and happy studying.